Hello there girls and boys, in this video I'm going to show you my mixing template for Mixbus and also you will be able to download it for free. Welcome back to the channel girls and boys. As I said before, in this video I'm going to show you my mixing template and I'm going to run you through all of the different caveats that that mixing template comes with. This mixing template girls and boys was made in with the intention of actually giving you something that will allow, will allow you to get rid of the guesswork when it comes to mixing inside of Mixbus. And as you might already know, Mixbus is a really great uh, piece of software because it comes with this idea of you being mixing inside of a mixing desk inst instead of using a digital audio workstation environment. It's quite cool, it's quite awesome, and the best part, it comes with a built-in sound engine that it's gonna give you all sorts of bells and whistles and in super simple terms, you might not be in need of actually getting any form of plugin ever again in your life. If this is your first time in this channel, I welcome you. In here I show you every single thing I do in order to create, write, produce and of course perform my music live because I know that making a living as a musician is not a dream, it's a possibility. And if I can do it, you can do it. With that it said, let's get into it. Okay girls and boys, here's the deal. First I'm gonna show you a mix that I mixed using this mixing template and also using the built-in plugins that comes with a mix bus. The only thing is that I had to add two extra plugins, which were my reverb, but that was the only thing that was a part of this mixing template. And in order to download the mixing template, the only thing that you gotta do is click on the link in the description box down below and follow the instructions, and that's it. So with that being said, let's get into it now! Okay girls and boys, now that you have downloaded the file, let me show you how to install it. So what we got in front of us girls and boys is just the usual splash screen that comes with Mixbus. What I'm gonna do now, it's gonna open up a new session, bam, and then we're gonna use an empty template, okay? Just like that. Okay, now we have a, a proper Mixbus session running. It's time to insert the file and make it part of our template list. So. How to do it is quite simple, girls and boys. What we're gonna do is the following. We have to go over here, girls and boys, to Window, and then we're gonna go straight to this area that says Templates. We click on it, bam, and we're gonna be granted with this screen. This screen, girls and boys, it's where the magic happens. We're gonna do the following. We're gonna import, over here, girls and boys, click on Import, bam, and then we are gonna find our file. Uh, in whatever part of our file system we stored it. Since I have it here on my uh, desktop, I'm just gonna click on desktop and then I'm gonna double click on it. And bam, now it's been added and let's uh, click on down. Bam. Okay, now let's confirm that we installed this template properly. We're gonna go once again to Mixbus, we're gonna open it up and when we click a new session, there it is, girls and boys. Awesome, Barton mixing template. So, welcome back to Mixbus 32C, girls and boys. In front of us, we've got the template that you already downloaded. So, from here onwards, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna try to explain everything to you. And also, afterwards, I'm gonna show you a little bit more on a higher detail using the mix that you already heard. So, that way, you can have an idea of how this thing works. Okay, so let's do it. So, First thing first, girls and boys, the concept behind this template is to avoid messing around uh, without any idea of what we're doing. I know, girls and boys, that sounds like a little bit of a mouthful, but it is uh, true. Because this is this, girls and boys. As you already know, or you might be familiar with uh, Mixbus already, Mixbus it's all about using the so-called mix buses as a way to mix and control our sound. So, 
What I did in here was the following recipes. boys. I created a series of mixed bosses uh, and all of them are already being assigned to be used to control certain elements of our mix. As I was showing you at the very at this very moment, uh, this is how it works. We got drums boss, which is going to be the, the stereo boss on which we're going to be controlling the drums. Then we got a, a kick and bass, which is how we're going to be uh, controlling our kick and bass, of course. And I'm going to show you how that thing works uh, once we go into the next section of this video. Then we're going to be controlling our guitars, our keys, keys and background vocals. And that's it, girls and boys, because I want to keep things simple, I suppose. So, as you can see, girls and boys, here in Mixbus, we got these uh, sections, and it's divided by groups of four, and we got three sections, and this cor corresponds to our mix bosses. And I decided to use the first row, uh, the first row to control the instruments themselves. Then I'm gonna use uh, the second row to control the the compression compression and parallel compression systems of our mixing template and then we have the final row to control the uh, special effects such as two types of the of reverb and an extra reverb for our voice and delays in general so simple now let's move over this other side which is the mix boss area in here we got our uh, so uh, already mentioned uh, drums bus kick and bass guitars so on and so forth and of course i didn't insert that any form of plugins on our uh, uh, stereo uh, effects processing section why because i don't know what kind of reverbs or delays or special effects you might have in your arsenal and uh, in order to avoid any form of confusion uh, when it comes to loading the the, the template, I decided not to apply any form of uh, extra uh, bells and whistles or something. That's up to you to decide which kind of plugin you're going to use for your uh, uh, reverbs and such. But it is, 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 is still the same. So, also, one thing is important. You will be, uh, you might have seen already that all of my uh, tracks have the master synth turn off. Is it? Not necessarily, or something, because the idea is to send our vocals straight to the master bus because let's face it girls and boys you are not going to be mixing a, a song that has 3000 different vocals and that, that will force you to actually use a, a, a master bus you might but that's quite quite far from reality girls and boys so the idea is that you will be controlling those channels independently because it's once again the idea is to control and, and have a simple workflow okay cool now uh, another thing that is quite important to mention is this you will see over here once again coming back to our uh, mix bus area uh, that some of these parameters when it comes to the compression system are different for example over here we got compression because this guy is our nasty comp and that thing is quite cool girls and boys because with that nasty comp you're going to be getting a super super distorted sound a track that you're going to use to actually pump more energy into your whole uh, kick drum or for example or your snare and also we got here our uh, parallel compression for our drums the parallel compression for our snare and a parallel compression uh, system for our voices girls and boys that might come in handy in the future also the idea as well is that since you can see or as, as you can see over here girls and boys our mix buses have access to our uh, effects uh, mix buses so Sometimes you might be uh, in need of controlling, for example, and as you will see further down the line when I show you how this thing works uh, in action, that it's going to be better for you to control and send uh, information to your effects, such as reverb, by using the bosses instead of using the tracks themselves. Why? Because you might want to send, let's say, the drums as a whole, all of the, all of the elements of the drum kit, you want to send them to the reverb. It's easier to do it by just moving one knob rather than going to all of the different tracks by themselves, one by one. And you can always make the argument that you can also use groups and stuff like that, which is also part of this template. But to be honest, I prefer to use one, one uh, a major or one, one master a fader to control that kind of application. Now, speaking of groups, all of our main components are already being grouped and uh, you can see uh, that they are also color coded girls and boys. That's super important because the idea is to try to uh, avoid the guesswork. And one of the many ways that I have found through my years of experience 
is by using colors to detect exactly which kind of element or you're using. So you're going to find the familiar uh, color scheme that I am quite uh, uh, used to, which is yellow for drums, uh, something in between yellow and, and brown for bass guitar, Ele electric guitars are usually green, and uh, solos are red, uh, pads and synthesizers tends to be uh, pink and, and, and purple, and box tends to be a little bit red as well. So that's kind of the idea here, some boys. So, you know, all in all, it's quite, quite, quite uh, uh, streamlined. It's not that hard to understand. And you already, you already heard that you can get extremely good results with this. And as a disclaimer, once again, some boys, what you heard already was just mixed using this template and two plugins, reverb and reverb. That's it. And a final note, uh, of course, everything is sent once you hit the, the stereo buses, all of them now are sent into the master's fader, which is where you're going to apply your uh, master EQ some uh, saturation to add more color and vibe to your sound and of course some uh, stereo bus um, comp compression and that's it girls and boys okay girls and boys now let's see this thing in action let me show you how the drums are gonna sound like as i send them to our drum bus okay here we go take a look at this bus over here girls and boys, which is gonna be our drum bus i'm gonna click on solo and here we go You saw something interesting happening, right, Girls and Boys? We didn't have any form of kick drum. Let me explain why. The idea, Girls and Boys, is that we are controlling our kick drum, kick drum and our bass guitar on and using the same bus. We are not using the drum bus for a kick. We're sending it to a special drum bus that I'm going to show you right now. Here, we got it. It's over here, Girls and Boys, right beside it. And this guy is going to be controlling the bass and the kick. Why? Well, that way we're going to be able to keep our bass and our kick drum under control and help them to glue to be glued together in a much more easier fashion so let me click on solo and then on solo as well with the drums here we go cool isn't it also we are gonna uh, go now into our guitar section here we go we got all of our uh, drum, well, our uh, mix bus, uh, stereo bus, and the idea is that you're going to be controlling not only uh, the sound of the guitar by uh, messing around with the dependent equalizers that each of the channels has. Because the idea, girls and boys, is that you're going to be controlling the sound of uh, each of the guitars, because usually you should be mixing two guitars at the same time, one for the left and one for the right, and that way you can um, uh, get a cool sounding mix between both of them, and then since you're sending them all to the special uh, drum bus over here, sorry, uh, mix bus over here, girls and boys, we are going to be able to shape them together by applying the EQ as a master bus uh, or a stereo bus uh, when it comes to the guitars, and also a little bit of overdrive, and here is where the, uh, the whole thing uh, comes together, girls and boys. The idea is that we're going to be sending uh, on, and applying our reverbs and special effects by uh, using the stereo bus, not the guitar buses uh, or guitar tracks themselves. Why? That's a great question and I'm glad that you ask. The reason is because that way we can control uh, the amount of reverb that both guitars, uh, left and right, are, are being sent through or, we, or the kind of result that we're going to be getting out of the reverb circuit because that way we're going to be sending, uh, specifically speaking, the sound of the guitar as a whole. And that way, it's going to be easier for you. You're not going to be messing around on trying to find out which guitar it's been, uh, it's more, has much more reverb sound to it. And uh, the idea is to streamline the whole process, or suppose. We are trying to remove the guesswork. Good. Now, the next thing is going to be our lead guitars, or suppose. And the same principle is going to be applied. But the, here's the deal, or suppose. We are sending them as well to our guitar bus because they are basically guitars as well girls and boys and that way you're going to be applying the same principles to them also now we're heading into our final step because remember girls and boys, this is just for this mix you saw the entire uh, template uh, as it is and i had to remove some of those tracks because this this mix doesn't have that many tracks and in here we're going to be sending our synthesizers to its particular uh, synth and keys a mix bus that you're gonna find over here there's some boys bam it's this guy over here bam okay and the same principles applies or suppose and there you have it girls and boys mix bus is amazing isn't it and i hope that this mixing template helps you to write more music and mix it properly 
If you want to know more about this mixing template, let me know in the comments down below, girls and boys, because it comes with many things that will help you to improve your mixing process, and it's gonna help you to be faster as well. If you like to support this channel, the best way to do it is by listening to our music on Apple Music or Spotify, and also following us on social media, such as Instagram, would be great, because that way we can have a much more closer connection. As every single time that I meet you, girls and boys, I gotta remind you something. Never, never, ever let anybody tell you what to dream about. And remember, I will see you when I see you.